Birds are something you likely see most every day, depending on where you live. They're a natural part of the world, a key part of the ecosystem. And like humans, can come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Most times it's perfectly fine to interact with birds, but there are other times when doing so is honestly not that smart. Like the fact that you'll get hurt if you mess with them. So from the griffin vulture to the hooded pitahui, here are 20 dangerous birds you should run away from. Number 20. The Griffin Vulture First up, I've got the Griffin Vulture. Now, you honestly won't be in a position to interact with most vulture species because they tend not to live in areas where humans are, or they prefer to just be scavengers and only go where they know the food is. But if you do get to see a Griffin Vulture, you should probably just run away. Just look at the thing, it's oozing with don't mess with me energy. I think it's really staring into my soul. Thankfully for most people, this particular vulture can be found only in Europe, though it has been seen in Asia and parts of Africa, and it's bad news for those people that it's one of Europe's biggest birds. That problem is because not only it's very strong, but it's also a master of the air in the eyes of many. So if you're in its sights, you're probably screwed. The small good piece of news in all of this is that it's not likely to attack you unless it thinks that you're its food. Which in this case, like most scavengers, means that it eats carrion. You know, dead things. The catch though is that it'll sometimes speed up the process, if you will. It'll kill things that it feels are near death just so it can eat. As if all of this isn't enough, sometimes these very strong birds are going to flock together. And when a whole lot of vultures are circling, you know that something's dead. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Hooded Pitahui now I'm going to head to a bird that you'll likely never have heard about, the Hooded Pitahui. Part of the reason for this is no doubt that the bird is known for living in Papua New Guinea, a rather remote country in a lot of ways. However, there's another reason that we have the hooded pitahui on this list, and it's not what you may think. It's because when you think of birds and their killing prowess, you likely think of how they use their claws or talons and their beaks to kill prey. But for this bird, they have something else that no other bird in the world has, toxin. Now, one might say, well, how deadly is this toxin? Well, the answer to that is, it's the same toxin that's used by the poison dart frog, meaning it's one of the most deadly in all of the world. The hilarious thing, though, is how the bird's toxin powers were discovered. It would be in 1989 when ornithologist Jack Dumbacher was able to catch one, and he touched his mouth after touching the bird. And when he did, his mouth went numb. So why is it that this bird is the only one to have toxin within? Well, it's not because it naturally manifests the poison like many other animals. Rather, it eats a certain kind of beetle that allows it to secrete the toxin due to transference. Either way, if you see this bird, keep your hands to yourself. Number 18. The African Oxpecker no, I just showed you a bird that has its own toxin, so what could be even scarier than that? Well, how about a bird that's actually a parasite? That's right, allow me to introduce you to the African oxpecker bird. Though, to be a bit more technical, the African oxpecker that are out there, and there are quite a few species that reside throughout Africa, are more of a symbiotic kind of bird but they do still have parasitic qualities, as I'll explain. Not unlike certain other creatures, the African oxpecker will go and live on an animal. In this case, 
And in the case of Africa, it's usually something like an elephant or a hippo. The hosts, as they're known, won't mind for a very simple reason. The birds will go and eat all of the bugs and other small creatures that try to cling to them, thus cleaning the host while feeding the bird. You may recall that sharks have this happen with them via the fish that ride with them. It's the same principle, more or less. Because the African oxpecker do need to eat, and if there aren't enough bugs or other creatures, then they'll begin to pick at their hosts and eat them apart. More accurately, they'll pick at any wounds that the birds can find, which is super gross, because it means they're willing to eat the skin and blood of the hosts that they're supposed to be helping. Forget about angry birds. These are really mean birds. Number 17. The Vampire Finch Now I'll be honest here, there's nothing good that could possibly come from having a bird that's called a vampire finch. I know it's not an actual vampire, but that's not really the point. If it's in the reference to a vampire in any way, it just can't be good. And sure enough, it's not good at all. These birds are native to the Galapagos Islands and were proof of certain theories that Charles Darwin had about natural selection. But of course, what you're really going to find out is whether they attack things and drink their blood, right? Well, yeah, they do. And that's horrifying in all kinds of ways. In fact, this is what the vampire finch is known for across the world because most birds don't even consider blood to be a part of their diet. Yet this one thrives on it. Now to be clear, it's not solely a blood drinker. It does eat normal things. However, not unlike a vampire, it's not really afraid to go after things that would be unsettling for others, including eating bird attacks and actually attacking other bird species for sustenance. Arguably the most iconic part about all of this is the fact that they evolved to be this way. Their beaks are perfectly suitable for piercing the skin and then drawing out the blood. In other words, these birds really do suck. Number 16. Bone-Eating Bearded Vulture Now I'm back to the vultures, but this time it's for a species that's honestly rather special in its own right. The Bone-Eating Bearded Vulture. Now you may think, alright, so it'll take bones and marrow, right? Well, yes and no. You're on the right track, but you're not accounting for just how evil this bird is in that regard. Because yes, as is true to the name, the bone-eating bearded vulture likes to go and eat bones and also what's inside of them, which for the record, many other animals do as well. The catch with this one though is that they decide what's inside those bones isn't just good for their mouths, it's also good for their feathers. And if you're confused, I'm talking that they'll literally smear the blood of their food on their feathers. It'll dye itself red because it can, and likely it lets animals know, and humans as well, that this isn't a bird that you want to mess with. And due to its very intense nature, there are all kinds of rumors and speculation about what the bird's actually capable of and willing to do in order to go and get its meal. There are even some who claim that it's able to go and carry away small children so it can feast on them. However, this has not been proven. When it does find a prey that it can scavenge, it'll lift up high and drop it so that the bones break and the marrow can be eaten out of them. Number 15. The Harpy Eagle When you picture an eagle, you likely see a symbol of freedom, one that's majestic, proud, and noble. And while that's true in various ways, it doesn't mean that eagles aren't really something that you should run the heck away from if you see one, especially if the ones you see are those of the Harpy Eagle because this is one of the biggest and most powerful eagles in all of the world. Now, if you do want some examples of just how big and powerful the bird is, just the talons alone of the harpy eagle are three to four inches long, and that means that it's got the same length as the claws of a bear. 
Now we all know you should run away from bears, just do it slowly. Just as important in terms of their size is their wingspan. From end to end, their wingspan is longer than most humans are tall. Funnily enough though, they aren't the best flyers in the world. They're not really meant to soar over large swaths of area like other birds and species of eagles. However, that doesn't stop them from hunting large areas by going from tree to tree. What's more, they'll use their incredible eyesight and their strong hearing just to go and make it hard for their prey to get away. Which in this case is animals like sloths and monkeys. The main point of it all is, don't mess with the harpy eagle. Number 14. The Cassowary I'm not even halfway through my list and I'm about to talk about a bird that's literally hailed as the world's most dangerous. I present to you the cassowary. And if you're wondering why you've never seen or heard of this bird before, that would be because it's a bird that you'll only find in northern Australia, New Guinea, and the surrounding islands. Furthermore, they're honestly rather shy creatures, so you're not going to find them unless it's by accident or design. I'm talking about in zoos, of course. The problem though is that while they're not an aggressive bird species unlike some others on my list, they're very much ones that will kill you if you provoke them. They're legendary for their attacks and, and have killed people in the past as well as injured many because of how sharp their talons are. And some of these attacks have been recent, including something that even happened in 2019. Their claws are so powerful in fact that they've been proven to break human bones, which is all the reason that you need to stay the heck away from from them. Quite ironically, some of the most well-documented attacks by cassowaries were by ones that were being fed by humans, and then they attacked the people when the food ran out. Just talk about being ungrateful. Number 13. The Herring Gull Another bird that you'll likely not have heard of before, but don't worry, it deserves to be on the list, is a herring gull. The herring gull are yet another type of bird that prefer to go and scavenge over doing the hunting that most birds would do. But in a most interesting twist, they're more than willing to go and do their scavenging over the various bodies of water in the world and beyond. Now I'm talking about things like open water intertidal pools and shallows, mud flats and landfills, newly plowed fields, picnic grounds and fish processing plants. That's quite a large range and makes them something that you definitely don't want hovering over you. Not only are they far reaching, they're honestly really smart when it comes to how they come together because they typically make landfall in places like islands or hummocks where they know that predators won't be able to reach them. Not unlike their habitats, they're more than willing to eat a large variety of food in order to live, and I mean a large variety. They'll go and eat basic things like bugs and fish and invertebrates, but they'll also go and eat other bird eggs, lesser birds as a whole, and even other gulls. They're a very opportunistic bird, and they're not afraid to show it one little bit. Number 12. The Mute Swan there are certain animals in the world that are known to be beautiful and are very much referred to as beings of peace or kindness. Swans, they're absolutely one of those creatures because of how they look. They're used in pop culture, you know, like Swan Princess or Swan Lake, all to represent a beautiful soul or spirit. And while many swans are indeed kind, there are always exceptions to the rule. And one that you need to be mindful of is the mute swan. You can find mute swans in various places all over the world, but in North America, they're one of the largest birds around, capable of being over 30 pounds at times. So then you're probably thinking, oh, well, it's just dangerous because of its size, right? Well, yes and no, size does matter, but it's the personality of the mute swan that makes it so dangerous. especially for the other plant and animal life that it meets in various habitats that it roams. Because this is a species of swan that is not only invasive, but it's aggressive to a fault. 
it'll defend its territory with distinction and terror, and furthermore, will go and eat many pounds of plants or animals a day, heavily hurting population numbers. And yes, if you do get too close to them, they're going to attack you, including documented cases of them attacking humans. Now you've been warned, these swans are just mean. Number 11. The Emu now, depending on where you are in the world and the television you watch, you might think about how a certain emu is the star of an insurance commercial. You might also pronounce it as emu, and you may also think that emus are just very harmless birds you don't have to worry about. You know, because television is always accurate with its depiction of things. And you know, as a whole, this bird is very special of a breed because they don't fly. They too run really fast though. In fact, they're one of the fastest land birds, able to reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. Which is not bad for a bird, right? Well, that's where the danger comes in. Because to keep predators away, they use their feet to do powerful kicks. Given that they have very sharp claws, that means that they can do a lot of damage. But do they hurt people? Well, yeah, they do. And to be fair, the fatality rate is low, though it has happened. But emus are known to attack humans for a variety of things. In Australia in 2009, over 100 attacks on humans by emus happened in just one year. So if you do see one in the wild, keep a good distance and consider it your insurance policy. Number 10. The Australian Magpie Depending on where you may live in the world, birds and other creatures very much act differently. And if you want the best example, you'll need to go down under once more and take a look at the Australian Magpie. In Europe, magpies do also exist, but they aren't feared by the population as a whole. Australia, however, these birds are hated, and they're straight up feared by all who dare to go into areas where they may reside. And trust me when I say that's pretty much all of Australia. These birds are absolute jerks, and they suck. Not in a literal sense, thank goodness. But what makes them birds that you should run away from is that they have a swooping habit. They'll literally swoop down at people. And the European version does this as well, but those birds are so small that they don't do a whole lot of damage. The Australian magpie has a much larger frame though, and a whole lot more weight, and when they hit you, it's gonna hurt. People literally wear helmets to try and counter the attacks of the Australian magpie, and even then, the magpies will try to break the helmets to get at the people, and presumably their brains. Number 9. Ostrich Behold, the ostrich, the biggest bird in the world by a large margin, and one that should be both appreciated and feared. The ostrich is very much the big brother and sister to the emu, a flightless bird of Africa. It has the ability to run at an incredible speed. While the emu can go at a max of about 30 miles per hour, the ostrich is one that can pretty much get on any highway and get up to 43 to 45 miles an hour in a sprint. which means that it can run faster than a car that does city driving, and that's very impressive. It's even more impressive when you realize that their legs are so strong that a single stride for an ostrich can carry it about 10 to 16 feet. Of course though, I'm here to talk about the dangers of the bird, and like the emu, it's able to go and use its legs to deliver powerful kicks and strikes that are able to kill humans. Does it happen very often? No, but should you risk it? <laughs> Not at all. Number 8. The Red-Tailed Hawk Now some say that the red-tailed hawk is the most common hawk in North America, and that means that you should have your head on a swivel if this bird is even close to the area that you're in. The good news is that they're not one that hides in any meaningful way. In fact, they'll soar above various fields of the habitat that they're in, or even perch upon a telephone pole in order to scope out the area. <coughs> Get
Getting into what makes the bird terrifying though, I'll begin with its voice. Because it has a voice that literally is considered to be a raptor's cry. In Hollywood, they actually use the red-tailed hawk's voice for raptors on screen. Granted, these hawks aren't that terrifying, but it might just be close. Mainly because red-tailed hawks, and a bunch of other hawks to be honest, are known for being viciously territorial. If they feel that you're near one of their nests, they're going to attack you. And since this is the most common hawk in North America, those who live there have to be constantly aware of what nests they may be near or else. Number 7. The Great Horned Owl Owls are often said to be very wise creatures, and most people don't see them until it's nighttime because they're very much nocturnal. But make no mistake, while we revere owls for all kinds of reasons, they're not exactly our biggest fans. They'll openly attack you if you make the wrong move at them, and the Great Horned Owl is a perfect example of that. Because the Great Horned Owl has been documented many times as going after humans who went too close to their nests, and do Due to their razor sharp talons, they're going to be more than capable of killing anyone that they really want to. <laughs> this also makes them dangerous predators at night because they're known for going after all sorts of creatures if they're hungry even other owls. That's because their talons aren't just sharp, they're also strong, and they're able to cling on to creatures and lift up weights that are much larger than their own. So again, you can go and respect owls all you like, but be mindful to the fact that owls are fierce and territorial, and the last thing that you want to do is be on their radar. Number 6. Giant Petrels so far, I've shown you plenty of birds that are known for a variety of skills when it comes to making themselves known to attackers and prey, but what if I told you that out there in the world is a bird that you need to stay away from because if you don't, it's gonna vomit all over you. That's right, it's a real thing, and sadly, it has a name, the giant petrel. These seabirds are known by many different names and nicknames, but I'm calling them by their true title, the giant petrel, because frankly, any bird that throws up on a person doesn't really deserve a whole lot of respect in my book. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would a bird go and throw up on anybody? Well, it's simple. It's their defense mechanism. This bird may sometimes believe that an animal, creature, or human is aiming to attack them, so they'll just vomit on them in order to ward them away. But how did the bird get this tactic? Nobody really knows, and honestly, who really cares? It's a disgusting thing, and this bird should be ashamed of itself. That's right, I said it. Number 5. Crowned Eagle now I'll head back to a bird species that is actually worth talking about, the eagle. In this case, I'm talking about the crowned eagle, and in Africa, this eagle has a very special title of being the most powerful eagle of all the species out there. To be clear, it's not really the biggest eagle on the continent, but it does make up for that with how it handles its strength. Part of the reason for their strength is how their body is proportioned, and in this case, they have very thick legs. And when you combine that with their talons, you get a threat that can't be ignored. And if you don't believe me, just look at those feet. You'll notice that they don't just have big talons, but they have really super long back ones. With those impressive talons, they're going to go and kill foes that are four times their size. That's super impressive and also super terrifying. They're also not above hunting in pairs in order to catch their prey, and will call out to one another before the deed is done. Granted, they don't go after humans too often, but with all that power, they could break your spine and not even regret it. Number 4. Snowy Owl for some of you out there, hearing the words Snowy Owl will send you back to Hogwarts, where a certain boy who lived had one such owl in Hedwig. Hedwig, for many, was an adorable pet for the character and was only shown to be mad at certain points. But remember, that was a character in a book. 
In real life, snowy owls are much more fierce than you realize, and you need to realize that if you're going to go and survive around them. Because you see, where the snowy owl thrives is in the air. To the extent that they honestly have an enormous range once they're up there. They'll happily be nomadic and are willing to go from spot to spot in order to get their prey. When they do attack, they'll happily use their bodies as camouflage and then swoop down on foes who don't see them coming. But they'll feel the razor sharp claws going into them just before they die. Number 3. Barred Owl now take a look at the barred owl and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you think that's a scary bird, you'd be absolutely correct. This bird is freaky looking with its layered face and how it almost looks like it's judging you. That's because it probably is. You know, they're wise after all. <laughs> But what you really need to worry about is what it can do. Because this is one of those larger owl species. They're almost two feet tall, in fact, and almost four feet in wingspan, and it's going to strike an imposing figure as it's flying down at you. This is where the twist comes in, though, because usually when something on feathered wing comes at you, you can hear their wings flapping. But with the barred owl, not so much. Their feathers make it so that no sound comes from the bird as it's screaming down at you, which is freaky and terrifying at the same time. Just as important, they don't really like to be disturbed, which humans have a bad habit of doing. So if it thinks that you're infringing upon its territory, it's just gonna silently fly down and then rip you to shreds. Number two, Harris's Hawk. When you hear that a bird has a habit of hunting like a wolf, that's terrifying in and of itself. And then you hear that all a Harris's hawk can do is just that, well, it's even more so. These are a kind of hawk that's both powerful, agile, nimble, and more, and anything that it decides to call its prey is basically dead from the moment that the hawk lays eyes on it. But why? Well, because not unlike wolves, Harris's hawk tends to hunt in packs. A literal pack of birds is going to fly in a coordinated attack pattern just to take out the prey that it wants. Sometimes five of these hawks will be flying together. Can you just imagine that? It must be truly terrifying. Even more so, their coordination goes beyond just hunting for food. They also assemble like the Avengers every morning to go and prepare for their hunt. They'll have some of the group look for food while others set up a lookout point. Technically speaking, they don't really attack humans all that often, but with a coordinated attack and five of them with their powerful bodies and sharp talons, they could easily kill someone if they really wanted to. Number one, Peregrine Falcons. Now here's another bird that you should run away from if you even think that it's looking at you funny. The problem is that running away from a peregrine falcon is almost next to impossible because this is one of the fastest things on the entire planet when it's in attack mode. The peregrine falcon has the ability to go into a dive that's so streamlined that it allows the falcon to reach 200 miles per hour if not faster. Just think about that. There are race cars that can't even go 200 miles per hour, and yet this bird not only does it, but it does it on a dime. Just as important is that there are birds who aren't afraid to be far ranging. They'll be in open areas, near water, in tundra filled places, deserts, and more. Wherever it feels that it can get prey, that's where it's going to be. That's powerful, and that's confidence and that's a bird that you're going to want to stay away from. And that's all from the world of birds. What did you think of these species that you should honestly go and run away from instead of trying to interact with? Did you even know that some of them existed? And which ones are you fearing the most? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.